after we have、um, a discussion about the definition, measurement, and the components of output. Now we are going to talk about the most important point of this chapter, which is the difference between nominal and real GDP. Right now, before、uh, we start talking about the, you know, what is nominal, what is real,、uh, we want to start with a hypothetical numerical example. Okay. We use the hypothetical example because it helps us simplify our analysis and calculation. Now, in this hypothetical economy, you find that、um, it produces only two goods: cokes and cheeseburgers. So you don't have to worry about the third one because there's no third product. Okay, just cokes and cokes and cheeseburgers. And、um, here、um, we have three years、uh, from 2017 to、uh, 2019, and for each year you find the price and the quantity for each good, okay, or product.、Um, now I want you to pause the video and.、Um, Calculate the GDP of this hypothetical economy for each year. All right. Again, as we said before, the math should be very straightforward. You get the price, you get the quantity, right? And you use the price multiplied by the quantity, and then take the summation across the goods、uh, or services、um, in this economy. All right. Please go ahead and do it. Now let's see、um, what numbers、uh, we got here. Okay.、Uh, we could start with、uh, the first year, 2017. Okay. So we use、uh, the price of coke times、uh, the quantity,、uh, which is 50.、Uh, So、um, the economy produces fifty dollars of cokes and two hundred dollars of cheeseburgers. So when we add them up, it's two hundred fifty dollars. Okay, that's this hypothetical economy's GDP in twenty seventeen. In twenty eighteen, similarly, we use、uh, the price of coke times its quantity. Plus the price of cheeseburgers times its quantity, we end up with the same number, two hundred fifty dollars. Okay. In twenty nineteen, we find、uh, the GDP of this economy increases all the way up to nineteen hundred dollars. Here, I want to、um, suggest you to pause the video again and think about. These numbers,、uh, the three numbers in front of us, do they make economic sense? What we learn by comparing them. If you find there's anything which doesn't make sense to you, why it doesn't make sense? All right. So that's why here on the screen I said,、uh, does the results make sense? Now. You would find that, for example, if we just compare the first two years, okay, 2017 and 2018, we find that the GDP、uh, of this economy remains the same, exactly the same, $250, right? But when we define the measure of output, we said that it's supposed to measure the quantities, how much we produce or this economy produces. Right. So when we talk about how much it produces, it should be quantities. But again, remember on the very first slide of this、uh, chapter, we introduce the price of the goods and services, so that we would be able to get a, a single dollar amount representing how much we produce. Right. Here, I want to remind you again that. The output measure, no matter it's GDP, GMP, or anything else, 
is supposed to measure the quantities. But in reality, we have so many goods and services and we want a, a simple answer, okay? Or as simple as possible. So that's why we introduce the prices, okay? And here, when we go back and look at the quantities of Cokes and cheeseburgers produced in 2017, 2018, we find that in this simplified uh, case, um, both uh, the quantities of Coke and cheeseburgers doubles, right? The economy produced 50 Cokes and 100 cheeseburgers in 2017, and it produces 100 Cokes and 200 cheeseburgers in 2018. So without looking at our GDP number, we would expect the GDP in 2018 should be doubled, correct? Because the economy produces only two goods, and for both, the quantity doubles. So we should expect the total output will double. However, we see the total output stays the same. Why? Simply because the prices of Coke and cheeseburgers decreased by 50%. So that decrease in price completely offset the increase in quantities, right? Now we find that we probably get in trouble, okay? We want to measure the quantity, but we cannot add the number of apples uh, on the top of the number of airplanes, right? So we have to use the prices, but the prices themselves are not constants they change over time and that would change our gdp numbers as well but remember this change is not desirable we don't want to see these kind of changes because the point is to measure the quantities okay now let's compare um the last two years 2018 and 2019 we find that the quantities of Cokes and cheeseburgers stays the same, right? 100 Cokes, 200 cheeseburgers, the same between the two years. But when we calculate the GDP, we find it becomes a huge number, 1,900 compared to the uh, previous year, right? Much larger. Again, it doesn't make sense. This much higher GDP number is resulting from the higher prices of Cokes and cheeseburgers, right? So here, we get in trouble, how could we fix it, okay? And um, this is the place where we could think about, you know, what the GDP is supposed to measure, okay? It's, as we just mentioned, it's supposed to measure quantities. Okay, the prices are just the helpers. They help us to come up with that single, the simple answer. But the helpers now got us in trouble. Okay, how could we fix it? All right, in the next video, we're going to continue our discussion about the uh, nominal versus real GDP.